tougher than I thought. Pang Tong, what have you done? Thank you! My lord! What is this? Hear those voices, my lord? The people of Yi province are happy. These people... They were waiting for me. Go on. Go to them. Excellent! This is... You, you're hurt! Uh, it seems... I'll be making my exit... earlier than planned. Duga Liang... It is in... your hand. Though Pang Tong was lost, Cheers of joy from Liu Bei's army and his peasant followers flooded Loa Castle. Liu Bei could not help but think that this was not the right path. But to avenge Pang Tong's death, and to answer the fervent desires of the people of Yi, Liu Bei advanced his army on the Yi capital of Chengdu. For he had finally made up his mind to attack Liu Zhong. Meanwhile, hearing of Pang Tong's death, Zhuge Liang left Guan Yu in charge of Jing and set out to join the battle. He joined up with Liu Bei, and together they looked to swiftly capture Chengdu. Driven by the lost dreams of his fallen friend and ally, The dragon would soar over the hills of Yi, where the feathers of the phoenix lay scattered in the wind. All was proceeding just as Zhuge Liang had envisioned. Liu Bei captured Yi, claiming the territory as his own. And the land found itself divided into three, with Liu Bei of Shu, Cao Cao of Wei, and Sun Quan of Wu. At long last, Zhuge Liang's Three Kingdom strategy had come to fruition. Against this backdrop, the province of Jing, located at the center of these three kingdoms, grew more important than ever. While relations between Shu and Wu had worsened as they fought for control of the province, that all changed when Wei invaded Hanzhong. Liu Bei proposed a ceasefire with Sun Quan and returned to him the eastern portion of Jing. And in return for the land, he asked that Wu participate in a joint attack against Wei at Hefei. Just as they promised, Wu attacked Hefei. For a while, Jing once again knew peace. Having secured Jing, Zhuge Liang sent Huang Zhang and other top generals to take the fight to Wei. The battle would take place on Han Zhang's Mount Dingjuan. It was there that Zhuge Liang realized that the land of virtue they had sought for so long was finally within their grasp.
After all, even we old folks have to think about the future sometimes. Well done. Our Your example is a powerful motivation to us all. Nobody gets the upper hand on me! Watch and play it already! The arrows shall rain down upon you! <laughs> Last time I acted. He runs away fast, I'll say that much. Cao Cao is gone, I see. He said something about being a decoy. Just a bad loser. I hope you are right. Maybe. Lord Guan Yu. At Hanjong, Cao Cao seemed almost too calm and collected. Zhuge Liang could not help but feel uneasy. With Hanjong under its control, Shu had stabilized as a country and was gaining momentum. As if in celebration of their good fortune, Guan Yu marched north from Jing and attacked Wei at Fan Castle. If they could bring down Fan Castle, there would be nothing left standing between them and the Han capital of Shichang. With everything going so well, there was no reason to expect that their Wu allies would betray them. However, no matter what Zhuge Liang did, his worries could not be eased. Then, as the stage switched to east of Hanjiang at Fan Castle in Jing, Waves of emotion flooded over Guan Yu as he gazed upon Fan Castle, where Cao Ren lay in wait. For finally, the dream that Liu Bei had pursued for so many years was about to become a reality. To forge a path to that world of virtue, Guan Yu and his sons would fight to the bitter end. The God of War's battle plan was flawless, that is, until the surprise attack came. Lord Guan Yu, over here, it's me. You know, it's been so long since I left home. Remember those early days? Looking at your sons, it takes me back to when we were their age. I have two boys of my own now. I'd like to get home to them before they're all grown up. You have some new officers under your command this time, my lord. I hope they will prove to be up to your exacting standards. Your sons. Their abilities on the battlefield are most impressive. I have to say, they remind me of you. You must be proud to have not one, but two such magnificent sons. conflict will only result in heavy casualties. The key to victory will be the success of the flood attack. Lord Ma Liang is one of five brothers. Did you know that? Rumor has it that Zhou Tsang can run like the wind. They say he's almost a match for your red hair, my lord. People like him will put me out of work. Zhao Ren is tightening his defenses at Fang Castle. We should focus on attacking Xiangyang first. 
How many sons does Lord Guan Yu have again? Four, I think. Guan Ping, Guan Xing, Guan Suo, and Guan something. Guan something? Uh, the rain is really coming down. We'll all catch our death of cold at this rate. The enemy commander is a mighty defensive force. Perhaps a water attack will loosen his defenses. What's that in Lord Guan Suo's hair? A flower? Are we not supposed to mention it? I have two boys of my own now. I'd like to get home to them before they're all grown up. Lord Guan Ping is popular with the men. I'm sure they find his commitment to training commendable. Lord Guan Sua certainly has a way with the ladies. He's the talk of the town. Father, the preparations for the flood attack are complete. Our units are also in place around the enemy position. Most impressive, my sons. Come, we must capture Fong Castle for the sake of our lord. First we will secure Xiang Yang, then we will divert the water from Han Shui into Fong Castle. My first battle. Finally, this is my chance to observe the way my father fights. What's the matter, father? It's not likely to be lost in thought in battle. Looking at you and your brother reminds me of my own second brothers. I haven't seen them in so Cannot lose it. This is an important game for our cause. Father, Xiong Yang is ours. It is time to order the flood attack. Dragon, swallow fire. 
Long Castle and Wei's Ambition Hole. The Wei Army has suffered major casualties from the flood attack. Their morale has been seriously lowered. Excellent. Into the castle. Father, the ships are ready. It's time to go. I don't know if I will ever be able to match my father. There is no need for you to follow my path, my son. You must forge your own style. These ships are a bridge to victory! To Fawn Castle! <laughs> We must defend this area, even if it means our lives. Help! Help! Tremble in fear, my blade! is all but ours, Father. Only the commander, Cao Ren, remains. Terrible news. The Wu army has invaded our territory. Gong An and Zhang Ling have already fallen. No. Wu are our allies. Have they betrayed us? My lord, it's an emergency. The Wei army is amassing outside the castle. Their numbers are immense. The enemy numbers are far greater than we had imagined. Father, you must withdraw! Hey, what about you? I will stay here in the castle and keep the enemy occupied. Brother, you must keep our father safe. Uh, uh, of course. Break through my castle, and to brother, you must stay alive, men. Oh, you 
you just reached another level of brilliance. You believe your wits are a match for mine? Not do to retreat is not necessarily to lose. If my father were here, I know that he would be proud of me. Why has war betrayed us? Because it suited us to do so. Surrender now, and face death like a man. Lord Guan Yu's movements are so slow. I fear his injuries are serious. Lend me the 
strength I need. I must retreat. This is not the end. We must hurry to my castle. Just as Lu Xuan said, prepare to die! Lord Guan Yu is under heavy enemy fire. He needs aid immediately! I'll put a stop to them. 
Now, close the exits to my castle. Hold out of luck, one you. Fight me now, for glory! I can see every flaw in your form. It appears that brains alone cannot be drawn. If my father were here, I know that he would be proud of me. You have more fight left in you than I thought, but it will take more than grit to get out of this. Oh, aren't you all fired up? We will try to keep up with you. Lend me the strength I need. I shall return. Remember that. For yours is the first head I shall see. If my father were here, I know that he would be proud of me. My son, you must stay alive, live, and support your brother. What are you talking about? And give my lord and Jiang Fei a message for me. Tell them I'm sorry I broke my promise. <laughs> Farewell, my son. I have always been proud of you. Due to the treachery of his supposed ally Wu, Guan Yu was slain in battle. And in an instant, the bond so carefully formed between Xu and Wu through Sun Shangxiang's marriage were torn apart. Meanwhile, the tides of change were swelling within the Wei camp as well. Cao Cao, the hero of chaos, died and was succeeded by his son Cao Pi. Following in his father's footsteps of conquest, Cao Pi demanded the Han Emperor abdicate the throne and declared himself Emperor of Wei. In response, Zhuge Liang advised Liu Bei to stake his own claim on the throne. He reminded Liu Bei that he was an actual descendant of the Han bloodline, that it was his birthright. By doing so, he could label Cao Pi a traitor to the country for having deposed the Han Emperor. However, Liu Bei remained undecided for he was still haunted by the death of Guan Yu. That it was his birthright. By doing so, he could label Cao Pi a traitor to the country for having deposed the Han Emperor. But Cao Pi is the true threat. What is the point of attacking Wu? What point? You... How dare you say that? Avenge Guan Yu's death. What other reason do we need? I'm sorry. I bring news! General... General Zhang Fei! He has been killed! by his own men. What? The traitors have taken his head and fled to Wu. Zhang Fei. Zhang Fei is... is dead. No!
For the first time in his life, Liu Bei decided to start a war rooted in hatred. Joining his sworn brother in the afterlife, Zhang Fei also passed away. The sworn brothers who had pledged to die at the same time had nearly fulfilled their oath. Meanwhile, Wu, who had betrayed Guan Yu and also killed Zhang Fei, still stood. Liu Bei brushed aside the pleas of Zhuge Liang and his other retainers, determined to launch a large-scale military campaign against Wu. Liu Bei's hatred, sorrow, and malice whipped through the sky above Yiling, signs of the impending storm. This battle would not be for justice, nor virtue, nor for the people. With a heavy heart, a pair of eyes looked upon the army of Shu, which had been transformed by vengeance. It was Zhao Yuan, the brave warrior who had fought so many battles alongside Guan Yu and Zhang Fei. to push me away but if I don't keep him safe then I will be dishonoring my great forebearers now I must go to him I challenge any and all comers to test me in the art of battle now is the Take time to attack Everybody, to battle! find Lord Liu Bei anywhere. Keep it together, man. I will find our Lord. You need to rescue as many of our people as possible. I am deeply moved by your performance in battle. I too shall do my best to try and be a powerful way.
glad to see you. I feared I would never see the brave men of Shu again. I'm glad you're still alive. Do you know where Lord Liu Bei is? Not for certain, but he is south of here. I hope he is safe. are a match for mine. and the path of justice has fallen before me. Huh? How did that happen? But... Leon, the rest is up to you. Chance to strike. 
Lord Liu Bei has gone to war with sorrow and anger in his heart. It was not a wise decision. But Lord Liu Bei knows love, and this is why he is the man of the happiness. The new army is preparing to deploy more reinforcements. Remain vigilant, my lord. My husband, you are indeed the incarnation of the dragon. I know your strength will come to me as well. another level of brilliance your prowess rekindles my spirit onward to victory are a match for mine.
This is for God me. I trusted that you would come. Now is I appreciate your moment. assistance. So you are my next opponent. I'll crush you like all of the others. It shall be my pleasure to face you in battle. I call upon the thunder. I need to accomplish. I shall withdraw for now. There is no greater weapon than a prepared mind. What a stunning display of strength! You have earned my respect of your own peril. Now that's how it's done. You inspire us all. the thunder. I shall return. Remember that. For yours is the first head I shall see. I must retreat. This is not the end. My next opponent. I'll crush you like all of the others. Okay. I shall return. Remember that. For yours is the first head I shall seek. There is no greater weapon than Call a prepared the mind. This one is heroic. I guess I need to pick up the pace. I can't believe it. I've never met someone so strong. Juggernaut. of the dragon. I know your strength will come to me as well.
There is no greater weapon than a prepared mind. To retreat is not necessarily to lose. A true warrior indeed. You will carry our honor across the land. done enough. My lord, I hope we shall meet again someday. You have judged your retreat well. I see Zhou Yu and Wu Meng have a worthy successor. I only hope I can find one so talented to carry on my legacy. Yu Bei and his army were dealt a crushing defeat at Yi Ling. Under the protection of Zhao Yuan and Zhuge Liang, Liu Bei safely returned to Baidi Castle. Unable to fulfill his quest for revenge, he soon took ill. Despite his power and authority, he never abandoned his kindness and human decency. He was willing to give his own life if it might ease the people's suffering. The final chapter in the book of this man, who lived with passion and a zest for life, was about to come to a close. Forgive me. I wanted a land of benevolence, like we had talked about. But I allowed my grief to consume me, and it cost men their lives. Your mistakes are due to your benevolence. You have supported me until the very last, my friend. My son, Liu Shan. He must take over when I am gone. But if he proves inadequate, then I want you to lead Shu. But my lord, 
Indeed, you are the one who has shown true benevolence until the very end. My lord. You must complete the task I have left unfulfilled. Ah, my brothers, my friends. I'm sorry I took so long. Now, we go. Together. Liu Bei died within the confines of Baidi Castle. The imperial throne was taken over by his son Liu Shan, and Zhuge Liang was made prime minister. First, Zhuge Liang looked to repair the fractured relations with Wu and revitalize their alliance. And when things worsened between Wei and Wu, he took the opportunity to eliminate a different threat. Word of impending rebellion in Nanjong. Zhuge Liang himself led the campaign south and forced the Nanjong king, Meng Hua, to surrender. With his rear flank secure, Zhuge Liang was ready to lead the three armies on his northern campaign. He aimed to finally eliminate his longtime nemesis of Wei. The Xu army moved north from Hanjiang, heading for the three cities of Nan'an, Tianshui, and Anding. The world of virtue which he had sought together with Liu Bei. He could not let this dream simply vanish among the pages of history. The Xu military, joined by numerous peasant volunteers, marched north to strike at Wei. For Zhuge Liang and the rest of Shu, a long and arduous battle was just beginning. My lord, your highness, the battle is about to begin. Yes. To fulfill the wishes of your father, I have dedicated my life to this cause. But should that not be enough this time? What's the matter? You sound like it's all coming to an end. I would say that our battle is just beginning. Is that not so? Yes, my lord. I apologize. Lord Liu Bei, your son has your spirit of benevolence. He and I will give our lives Fulfill your dream.
lady will soon be married to Lord Liu Shan. I must bury my feelings for her deep within my heart. Lady Xing Tsai is just like her father, strong and courageous. It's lucky she doesn't look like him, though. Or have his personality. My lord, you remember me, right? I intended to retire from the army, but my lord's death has convinced me to stay on. I want my lord's dream to become a reality. For that dream, I will fight on. All I know is Lord Guan Sua is his third son. I forget the rest. Nothing to report, sir. I hear that Lord Liu Shan is labeled a fool by his people. Is he truly fit to serve as emperor? Hold your tongue, Masu. Lord Liu Shan possesses a virtuous heart, much like his father before him. And so he has vowed to carry on the will of our fallen lord. Of course, my lord. Please, forgive my impudence. I heard Lord Ma Liang was worried about his brother and his youthful impetuosity. I wish Lord Liu Shan had a little more presence and authority. I fear the enemy thinks him a fool. I fear our leaders are seeing more of Lord Liu Bei and his son than is really there. Wei is truly mighty. I fear the day when we can match them will never come. A land of benevolence is within our grasp. The hated Wei must be destroyed. Together as one, we will crush Wei beneath our boots! Isn't this campaign just wearing out our troops? Oh, forgive me, I am but a lowly private. Lord Liu Bei's dreams have drawn the people together. Now that he is gone, I only hope his son can do the same. Master Juga Liang, now is our opportunity to realize Lord Liu Bei's dream. To restore the Han Dynasty and build a land of peace and virtue. And to do so, we must first strike down Wei. Lord Liu Shan laughs a lot, doesn't he? I mean, that's a good thing, but it does make you wonder about him. Lord Liu Shan is a kind and gentle ruler. Those who call him feeble-minded simply don't know him like I do. We are counting on you, Juga Liang. I look forward to seeing you in action. Leave it to me, Your Highness. I shall support Lord Liu Shan from the shadows. Nothing to report, sir. This is one battle we must win at all costs, if only for the sake of our former lord. All units, prepare to march. Understood. This land will be valuable as a foothold for our push north. We must begin by defeating Shaho Mao and... your own peril. Stand against me at your own peril.
inspire us all. My lord, Xiao Ho Mao has fled. I suggest we give chase. There is no need for that. Let him go from Never met someone so strong. Now that's how it's done. You inspire us all. You dare to lay your hands upon my sons? You will pay! Sui Liang will surely come forth from his castle. Never done. Fight me now! For glory! I call upon the thunder. I must retreat! This is not the end! There is no greater weapon than a prepared mind. What a stunning display of strength! The thunder. You have earned my respect! Cross the land. I cannot die. Never give me your own. Not power. with so much left to do.
My lord, more enemy forces have appeared and are marching right towards us. No, their target will be Lord Liu Shan. We must provide him with aid at once. Up the pace. Work together if you desire the spoils of war. A group has a much better chance of taking an officer's head. Oh, 
retreat is not necessarily to lose. There is no greater weapon than a prepared mind. Everyone's eyes are on this battle. Don't allow yourself to suffer a humiliating defeat. A second player. The strategy needs refining, but it shows depth of promise. This Zhang Wei interests me more and more. Your wits are a match for mine. Not necessarily to lose. There is no greater weapon than a prepared mind. Now is the opportune moment. A true warrior indeed. You will carry our honor across the land. I am the old one. I shall show you. No. Mercy. This is not the end! innocent lives. Open the gates! Men, run for your lives! I call upon the thunder. Had you... abandoned your troops before, then you may well have been the victor here today. No man with a heart could ever do such a thing. It seems you, too, are a man who knows the spirit of benevolence. Benevolence? Pillaging of the people is unacceptable. The injured must be tended to, even the enemy. We are the inheritors of my father's dream of benevolence. We must take pride in that. Zhuge Liang led the Shu army to victory at Nan'an, Tian Shui, and Anding, in addition to Mount Qi. He also obtained the talents of a brilliant young strategist, Jiang Wei.
Determined to prevent Shu from gaining any additional momentum, Wei entrusted its army to the deviously clever Sima Yi. Zhuge Liang dispatched Ma Su to Jie Ting in order to face Sima Yi. However, Ma Su was no match for Sima Yi's intellect. Jie Ting fell to Wei, and Zhuge Liang lost all footholds from which he could easily attack Wei. Shu was forced to temporarily withdraw its forces. And yet, the officers and people of Shu still were determined to realize the land of virtue that Liu Bei had once sought. This northern campaign would go on for years, and these events would be replayed again and again. Time passed, with neither Shu nor Wei gaining the upper hand. And eventually, Zhuge Liang fell ill. Knowing that his time was limited, Zhuge Liang summoned Jiang Wei, and together they set out on one last campaign north. The battle would take place on the Wujiang Plains against his nemesis, Sima Yi. And so the dragon summoned his last remaining strength and set out to fulfill the promise that he had made so many years ago. I must lay the groundwork for certain victory here today. before my life runs out. My lord, there you are! Our men await your orders. Jiang Wei, it is time for you to lead our forces today. But, but I'm not yet ready. I will assist you. Yes, my lord. Now, Zhang Wei, give the signal to march. Yes, Prime Minister. I fight! Enemy must die! Lord Wei Yan took our Lord's death hard. He was wild and out of control for a while there. He's much better now, though. While Lord Zhuge Liang lives, Shu is in good hands. A land of virtue will surely be a reality soon. Do not underestimate the cunning of Sima Yi. I am certain this will prove to be a difficult battle. However, we must not let that deter us from victory. Lord Zhuge Liang is counting on us as well. 
Lady Yue Ying is said to be a genius inventor, a suitable wife for the sleeping dragon. Lord Zhuge Liang tried to perform a ritual to extend his life by 12 years, but Wei Yan ruined it. Be prepared. You can never have too many weapons. If we defeat Wei today, the land our mighty forebearers dreamed of will become a reality. So you are the successor to Lord Zhuge Liang. We all have high hopes for you. Lord Ma Dai is always so cheerful and happy, but the other day he... Oops, I wasn't supposed to tell anyone about that. Forget I said anything. Sumi Yi's not one to have a weakness in his defenses. We'll have to proceed carefully on this one. The Prime Minister is counting on us to deliver. I refuse to let Sumi Yi get the better of us. Lord Juga Liang asked Ma Dai to do a certain favor for him of the, shall we say, secret of nature. Uh, I shouldn't be telling you that. Uh, don't worry about it, my lord. Oh, look, a shooting star. Uh-oh, isn't that bad luck? Suma Yi is supposed to be an evil genius. He's sure to have some sort of scheme up his sleeve. I was just a boy when the infidels came to my village in their yellow turbans. But now Lord Liu Bei is dead, and his dreams have not been fulfilled. I am an old man now. It is time to leave my dreams in the hands of my sons too. You are our hero, father. We will carry on in your stead. Lord Liu Bei's dreams and the dreams of our father, they will be realized yet. I am worried about Lord Juga Liang. I fear he is dangerously fatigued. While Lord Juga Liang lives, Shu is in good hands. A land of virtue will surely be a reality soon. Be prepared. You... Did you know that I once ate Lady Yue Ying's cooking? It was delicious, but I don't know what it was. Understood. Prime Minister, I shall do my best to live up to your expectations. Begin marching toward our target. I do not want anybody to fall behind. Just my talent truly is. This ends here and now. This ends here and now. Necessarily to lose. <laughs> 
troops by the cliff near our main camp. Not bad. up ahead. From there, we should be able to get to the cliff.
my next opponent. I'll crush you like all of the others. destined to be overrun by imbeciles. Now you see just how prodigious my talent truly is. My men have seized your precious supplies and repelled all your devious plots. Sumayi, how long are you going to hide? If you insist upon staying put, then you will die in your cowardice. Sumayi is on the move. I will break through the center while making sure our allies are well supported. That's a wise decision. I know I can count on you from now on. Make everything to me, my lord. I will realize the land of benevolence you dream of. I fight for Liu Bei. This ends here and now. I can't rely on Lord Zhuge Liang forever. It's time for us to stand up and be counted. The actions we take here will be the key to unlocking this battle. Lord Jiang Wei, the enemy is firing flaming arrows. We must exercise due caution. My lady, now would be a good time to use the juggernauts. Understood. Please eliminate the enemy's presence from the immediate this area. This ends here and now. We must retreat. This is not the end. Now you see just how prodigious my talent truly is. You have truly earned your reputation. Such a display will boost the morale of our troops. Oh, you just reached another level of brilliance. You're not getting away from me! I knew you'd be a fool, but I did not think that it would be this easy to isolate you from your army. Well done. 
<laughs> the enemy ranks are riddled with holes. Exploit them to bring them to their doom. This is tough. I need more men. I bring news. An enemy unit is on the move. talent truly is.
getting away from now me. Now you see just how prodigious my talent truly is. You're not getting away from me. A true warrior indeed. You will carry our honor across the land. I knew I could count on you the moment I saw you. I am here to help you, Jiang Wei. Go forth and show why you are considered such a prodigy. Let's go! Don't leave any of them standing!
trying too hard, and now you've got me involved. So dogmatic. Just take it easy. Now you see just how prodigious my talent truly is. I fight. I destroy. Enemy reinforcements have arrived! How did I not see this coming? I'm impressed. It is time for me to display my prodigious talent to all the land! Not a bad attempt, but not good enough to hurt us! No match for me. This ends here and now. Next time, I will not be so lenient on you. Now you see just how prodigious my talent truly is. Most impressive. <laughs> we should all aspire to such greatness. <laughs> this ends here and now. <laughs> Here and now! Oh. 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 
Now, get farther! Come on, man. Yeah! Don't you forget! If you wish to get at Chuka Leong, you will have to go through me first! The Shu army defeated Wei at the Wujong Plains. The bravery and wisdom of Zhuge Liang's hand-picked successor, Jiang Wei, managed to overcome the cunning of Sima Yi. However, Sima Yi was not content to simply fade into the sunset with this defeat. And yet, under the clear and starry night, Zhuge Liang believed. He believed that even without him, Xu would go on fighting. Under the clear and starry night, Zhuge Liang looked and he saw. He saw Liu Bei, Guan Yu, Zhang Fei, and all the other brave souls that had given their lives in search of peace. Chang An. Lies ahead, and beyond that, the capital of Wei, Luoyang. With Wu's help, we'll destroy Wei, and realize our Lord's dream. <laughs> the road to that goal is long and steep yet. My Lord? But still, I have faith. I see the spirit of benevolence of Lord Liu Bei. I see it in you, Jiang Wei. And I see hope for the next generation. You mustn't speak as if your time is done. We will do this together. Hmm. I... Hope so. Lord Liu Bei! The heavens above! I hereby swear that I will make a land of benevolence a reality!